Welcome back. You're live with Expresso on a beautiful Monday morning. Also, the start of a brand new year. I know January is already flying by, but this time of the year, of course, uh, the world is awash with trends and forecasters predicting what 2020, what this new decade is going to throw at us. But then what do we do with that information? How do we translate that information into an actionable plan as an individual and as a business? We're about to find out right now as we connect with the uh, trend translators from uh, flux trends. A very good morning to Expresso family. We are coming to you live this morning from a sunny Johannesburg. Now, if you didn't know, Flux Trends distills a barrage of information hurled at us from every single direction on the digital sphere. But what exactly do we do with this information? How do we decipher it? And how do we use it to make better business decisions? Well, that's exactly where Flux Trends come in. They're responsible for identifying and uh, analyzing macro trends, everything from politics to religion to media, entertainment, technology, and so much more. And this year, Flux Trends have compiled a Flux Trends list based on the acronym Trends, each letter in that acronym obviously representing a key sphere that will affect the way we live our lives in 2020. And to talk to us through that list, I'm joined by Flux Trends Trend Translator, which is quite a tongue of a title, <laughs> I must say, Bronwyn. Bronwyn Williams, a warm expresso welcome to you this morning. Thank you so much for inviting us. It's a pleasure. Now let's jump straight into it and not waste any time. So the Trends list is, of course, Trends. The first letter being T, which stands for technology. Now, um, if you didn't know, Google, along with um, I think Wi-Fi, have rolled out various hotspots in over 100 areas, including townships such as Kailicha, Guguletu, as well as Filipi. Now, this is such a brilliant innovation, Bronwyn. Talk to us a little bit more about how it's going to better the lives of residents living in this area. Well, yes, um, data and internet connectivity has very much become a human right. I mean, you need that in order to access free education, for example, or to start a business. There's just so many things that you can do once you have access to the internet for a cheap, reasonable price. So it's quite exciting. We're starting to see big companies come on board here. But not only those initiatives you've spoken about, we're also starting to see satellite networks going up in the sky to give us global connectivity from all over the world. So that's going to be really exciting to see as that rolls out and now we start bringing together all the people that might have been left behind by the 4IR revolution right now, so far at least. So lots to look forward to in that regard. Um, the next letter on the trends list is of course retail. Now eco-warriors and activists have for the past couple of years been influencing the way retail brands sort of run their business to become more sustainable and inclusive. Um, how is this going to play out? Well, particularly from the sustainability point of view, we're seeing a consciousness shift from conspicuous consumption going through to rather consumers starting to appreciate recycled goods, for example, and also starting to move from ownership of goods into renting of goods. So we're able to have the benefit of, say, a car without having to own it through services such as Uber. And you're even able to rent things like designer clothing or handbags for an event. You don't have to actually own that. You don't have to purchase goods. We can then see those goods moving through the economy in a much more sustainable manner. I think the hiring of uh, designer brands is definitely something that I am looking forward to, seeing that I can't afford it. <laughs> now, the next um, letter is, of course, E, which stands for the economy, which is most probably one of the most important aspects on, 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 on this trends list. I mean, we've seen that the economy has not been very stable at the moment. So how is that going to play out in 2020? Well, in terms of the economy, one of the big trends we're seeing at the moment is this concept of personal data brokers or consumers actually getting compensated for how their data is used to create products and marketing offers. So that's definitely something to watch out for at the moment. Also, in terms of the economy, we obviously know what's going on around the world. The growth has slowed in general. So we are looking for these new sort of alternative economies like the data economy or your crypto economies, all these alternative economies where we're going to find some growth and some excitement going ahead. So building on that, would you say that these vloggers and bloggers that we're seeing on our social media platforms, that we're seeing on our Instagrams, our Facebook and our Twitter feeds are on the right track here? Well, they're already starting to monetize their social credit. So yes, they're already tapping into this on a very entrepreneurial type of way of doing that. But yes, absolutely, people are starting to commoditize their own data, their own social presence, and it's definitely something to look out for. 
interesting. As we've heard from Bronwyn herself, the trends to look out for in 2020 are definitely going to be interesting. The world is constantly evolving and hopefully these trends will make the world a better place for all of us to live in. Our business is not done with Bronwyn this morning. She is going to be back a little bit later on talking to us about the remaining three trends. But for now, it is back to you guys in studio.